All right, today we are looking at Lesson 17-1 on page 426, all about perimeter. So let's look at this lesson. How can you find the distance around a polygon? So the distance around a polygon is called perimeter, or the perimeter of a polygon, and they let P stand for perimeter. So the perimeter of a polygon is the sum of the lengths of, lengths of its side. So it's basically just adding up all the sides together. And the, for the figure at the right, P, or perimeter, is equal to 4. So they are going around the figure this way. 4 plus the other 4 here plus the 5 up here to the right plus the 6 all the way down here and the last side, 8. And you just, the sum of the lengths, so they add all of these together and they get the perimeter is 27 centimeters. All right, so that's one way to find the perimeter, especially of an irregular figure. You want to just add all the sides together, but sometimes you're going to find the perimeter of a regular polygon, something like a square they show here. So now a square has four sides, and they use S for sides, that have equal length. So you can use the formula perimeter of a square is 4 times s because s, every side is the same, which is why they make these little hash marks here to show that each side is congruent or the same length. So basically you can just take one side, 7.6, and multiply it by 4 because you have four of those to find the total distance around the figure or the perimeter. So in this case, since one side is 7.6, they multiply that 7.6 by 7, and they get the perimeter is 30.4 centimeters. All right, so let's look at the perimeter of a rectangle here. Now, the rectangle, the, the square has all four sides the same length, but the rectangle has two equal lengths and two equal widths. So Here's my length, 21 inches, and I have another side just the same length, congruent side. And then I have my width here, that's two hash marks, and these two are exactly the same width. So you can use the formula for a rectangle, perimeter equals 2 times my length, in this case 21 inches, plus, because I'm adding all these lengths together, 2 times the width, which in this case case is 7 inches. So again, always write your formula down and then plug in your numbers. P equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, so my length is 21. I'm going to put that in in parentheses so I know I'm multiplying by 2. And then my width is 7, so I'm going to multiply that by 2 and add those together. 2 times 21 is 42, and the product of 2 and 7 is 14. Add it together, and the perimeter of this rectangle is 56 inches. Make sure you always put your units on there. All right, back on page 426, let's look at this. How can you find the perimeter of a polygon that has unknown sides? So looking at this figure over here, in order to find the perimeter, we have to know all the lengths of each side. So on this side, we don't know what x is, but we know x is the distance from here to here, okay? So you want to look at your opposite side, which would be over here, and I know that it's going to be the same distance from here to, let's pretend we just dotted that line out, to here. Okay, so this missing hash mark here, it would be the same length as x, right? So we've got these right angles here. So we know that there it is 13 to this point, okay, from here to here, to this spot. And we know that this distance that I've added on here is 4 inches, okay? I've just basically like bumped it out. So x must be the sum of 13 plus this 4, which would make x 17 inches. Okay. Now, now that you found x, let me erase this. And you're going to do the same thing to find y. We don't know what y is. Okay, but we're going to look at y is from here to here. 
Okay, so we're going to look at our opposite side. We know it's 9 inches from this line to this line. And we, don't, we know it's 6 inches from this line, right, right up here, to this line. Okay, so what does that leave for y? If from here to here is 9, because, right, this is a straight line. And I know this side is 9. So together, this line plus my y must total 9. So 6 plus what would be 9? Well, y must be then 3 inches. Now, once you have all of those, I can erase a little bit here. And you can start adding this all together. Okay, so you know that this is 3. And you don't want to forget that. So then you can just add these together. So you've got 17. Let's see, how do they put it in your book? Yes, they put 17 first, and they are going clockwise. So you don't see 17 here, but it says in your book 17 plus the 6 up here, right? So we've got 17, 6, the 4 down, the 3, which is y across, the 13 down, and the 9 that brings us back to where we started. It's like you took a walk all the way around a building here and you don't want to leave any side off. So it's really a good thing to go ahead and write every side down. Then you can add them up, use a calculator, and the sum of all the sides would be 52 inches. So the tricky part on this is finding those unknown sides. All right, you can look at the bottom of the explain it, and it just talks about and shows how, in this case, kind of like I tried to do over here, Diane extended the two sides to make a rectangle to help find the measures of x and y. So she just built this wall out and helped you see how 4 is right here, and then y, which is down here, they're just showing it would be the same as what would be up here to complete the side. Number two says write a formula for the perimeter of an equilateral triangle and let s equal the length of one side. So remember equilateral triangles all sides are congruent or equal length so if s is the length of one side then my formula for finding perimeter would be three times the sides because I have three of them. Let's look at the next page. All right, for homework, I'd like you to go ahead and do all of the guided practice for one through four here. You're finding the perimeter of each shape. Maybe you want to draw a picture for these two to help you out. Draw the square and draw the rectangle on number two. Um, you're going to find the perimeter for three and four, and then answer these questions, numbers five and number six, and bring them in tomorrow with a question. See you then.